Ontario and New York's hit music station, Yes FM, you and I, One Direction, 839. Yeah, the sun is out. I'm liking it. Yeah, blue sky, looking good. Old man winter, you don't know you're beautiful. All right, um, the eight guilty pleasures, they really aren't that bad. Okay. Okay, what number one, avocado. Gross. Yeah, they're 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 high in fat. Yeah, they are. But they're rich in heart healthy monounsaturated fat. Yeah, with good fat. There is good fat. Okay. Okay. And avocado is full of good fat. Number two, coffee. Coffee's yeah. fine. Coffee not only helps you keep awake, but uh, it risks or decreases the risk of dementia in older adults. Increases your level of alertness, obviously. Obviously. Um, it improves performance on all kinds of tasks. And it was uh, reduced, it linked to reducing the risk uh, of uh, dying from a heart attack. Yeah, there you go. Just don't load it up Goodness. with sugar and creamer and stuff. Yeah. That's not bad for you. Yeah, and they say drink it black, probably. Uh, popcorn. Pop it up. Polyphenols, antioxidants. Prevent damage to your cells. Popcorn's really not that bad for you. Yeah. It never has been. Unless you're putting like Pop loads and loads yeah, of butter, of butter on it and stuff and salt. No, no, no. Just, just eat it. It's delicious. Beer is good. Yeah. Rich. Tell me more. A rich source of dietary silicon, one of the key ingredients in increasing bone mineral density. Really? So drink beer for your bones. And if you ever have the urge to eat an entire bag of bread, just have two beers instead. Peanut butter. Even though okay. it's high in fat and calories, um, it also, eating five units of peanuts or peanut butter a week can lower your risk for coronary heart disease, but the catch is it's full of fat and calories. Well, like you said, not all fat is necessarily bad for you. Dark chocolate is good. Okay. If you're going to eat one, eat chocolate, eat the dark chocolate kind. Is that loaded with antioxidants? Is that um, it? It, it? It helps lower blood pressure, improves blood flow, uh, prevents the formation of blood clots as well. Okay. Um, and red wine is good for you too. One word, antioxidants. There you go. Yeah. Chock full of compounds that can slow the signs of aging, prevent a number of degenerative illnesses like type 2 diabetes too. Um, and number eight is steak. Beef fatty. High in yeah, calories, too. We know that. But 50% of the fat is monounsaturated, which means it's like olive oil fat, avocado fat, and more. It's full of protein, big time. Yeah, and you can clearly see where the fat is found. So if you can kind of cut around the fat, yeah. you can see it. Don't eat the, the fatty parts of your big old steak. Yeah. No reason not see? to indulge every once in a while. There you go. Yeah. See, Ethan, it's not so bad, is it? I there's know. There's eight things you thought were... Gosh, when I've been starting my diet here soon and, and lose all these pounds I've gained over the last couple of months, these are eight things to stay away from. Dave, I have well, no. zero guilty pleasures. I feel no bad about nothing. I have no conscience. <laughs> 842, it's Imagine Dragons. It's time. Yes, FM. <laughs>